What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're gonna be jumping into another non-music reaction. Visiting the Netherlands. What to know before you visit? Hey, that's something we probably should dive into because we're eventually taking a trip up there to meet all of our peoples, 100%. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's check it out. Let's roll. Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we are in the Netherlands. Here, By the way, go show Walter's World some love over on his channel. I'm going to leave it down in the description. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be having this content right here. I wouldn't be learning about what to do when I visit the Netherlands. Let's go. Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we are in the Netherlands. Here in Amsterdam, got the Rijks Museum behind me. Right. It's a really fun place to visit. And today what we have for you are things you should know before you come to the Netherlands, okay? And you notice I keep saying the Netherlands, not Holland, because Holland are just two counties of the 12 we know that, that make up the North Netherlands. Holland so and South you know Holland. That one. Now let's get to the other stuff that normal tourists that are going to go and want to explore other parts, not just the red light district parts of the Netherlands. And the first thing I want to talk about is the language. Look, in the Netherlands, you do not have to speak Dutch, okay? A danku or dankia, that, that'll be very appreciated. But in general, you can just straight off start speaking English right away because yeah. the Dutch speak English very, very well. Like, so well that they actually get sarcastic jokes and they'll throw sarcasm back at you. And that is kind of I have been in a lot of countries where they do not understand what the hell sarcasm is. Where they literally don't get sarcasm whatsoever, where everything that you say it comes out as like a serious thing. And it's kind of terrifying to visit those kind of places. So it's nice to know that. That the Dutch people have a sense of humor. Well, that they actually get sarcastic jokes and they'll throw sarcasm back at you, and that is kind of a fun thing. Now, the Dutch people themselves are a bit reserved, but not, I guess the way I kind of put it is, I'm not. They're frank. They're direct. They're to yeah, the point. They that's don't like what to I've waste seen, time. Not so I've just seen zero reservation from the Dutchies on my Discord who are watching me react to this right now. Zero reservation whatsoever. They are very direct. They know exactly what they're going to say and they don't mind saying it. And I like that. It is, they're frank. They're direct. They're to the point. They don't like to waste time. So there's not always a lot of small talk, but we do have small talk. Get to the point and get your stuff out of the way. It will make your life a lot easier when you are here. So don't think they're rude. They just are very efficient in their speaking and getting to the point stuff, okay? That makes you know, another sense. thing you might want to talk about when you're coming to the Netherlands is, hey, what, what's the money there? Well, they use the euro here. It's no big deal. You know, you got your 5 euro bill, 10 euro bill, 20 euro bill, 50 euro bill. Anything bigger than that, I, I try to avoid uh, be, just because you don't get to use it very many places or they might not change it. It's just not worth having. So have those smaller bills and the coins. You'll exactly how big do the bills go? Why would you need anything bigger than what he just said? Places or they might not change it. It's just not worth having. So have those smaller bills and the coins. You'll need the coins a lot when you are here because there's a lot of little snacky things you're going to do. Like when you go eat, you're going to want to have, you know, some herring or some fries or something like that. It must be the, the wall. And those are only a few euros. That so good to have some coins. About. Now to get money out, there's a lot of ATMs around the country. So you won't have any problem with that. And they do let you select like 10 languages. I mean, they're really good about that here. Okay. So you do have that. So that makes it easier. Now, the next thing you probably want to know as a tourist is, how am I going to get around the Netherlands? Because you should explore outside of Amsterdam. I mean, Amsterdam's great and all, but there's so many other cool places to check out. Maybe you want to go to, to Harlem or Utrecht or Maastricht or Groningen. That's the one that all of my Dutch... This guy knows how to say them. We're going to have to learn how to say the places first so that when we get there, we are able to clearly pronounce where we want to go. Because I don't want to end up... I don't want to end up saying diagonally and ending up over there when I went to be in Diagon in Diagon Alley. Like, come on. I know I've seen Harry Potter. I've seen him use the snoo powder, the flu powder. Nah. Around the Netherlands, because you should explore outside of Amsterdam. I want to tell I mean, the Amsterdam's bus driver exactly where I'm going. There's so many other cool places to check out. Maybe you want to go to Harlem or Utrecht or Maastricht or Groningen. That's the one that all of my Dutch friends are like, Mark, you got to go there. There's all kinds of cool places to go. And the thing is, the train network here is very good and it's very efficient and goes all the time, which is really nice. I mean, not like 3 o'clock in the morning, but like there's a lot of, lot of trains going all over the country. And everything's really close by because it's a relatively small country. So I'm going to go to Harlem this afternoon and it's like a 20 minute train ride. I go to Leiden by the Kuchenhof, you know, if you're in April, May, mid April's the best to go see the tulips and everything. That's like a 30 minute train ride away. Every day you're is right so close. There, so it's very easy to do. And what you're going to get around in the cities and stuff like that is you've got to rent a bike. 
Yes, you're going to take bikes around and you're going to do that. Whether you run on yeah. Amsterdam or go biking through the tulips or... yeah. We learned about Dutch bikes the other day. If you haven't gone and checked out that video, I'm going to leave some kind of card right up here somewhere for it. Go check it out. Why Dutch bikes are better and why you should want one. If you're American, definitely go check it out because their bikes are far superior to ours. We learned that, that the grandma bikes are the way to go for comfort and efficiency. Bikes around and you're going to do that. Whether you run one in Amsterdam or go biking through the tulips or, yes, seeing the thousand windmills that are out there. You will see hey, them. Orcus. Biking is one of the ways to get around and it's very easy because the country is extremely, extremely flat. Now, next thing I want to talk about is safety. You know, you might want to just like, hey, are there any things I need to worry about when I actually do come here to the Netherlands? In general, the Netherlands is pretty safe. I will say most of the issues I do, you do find are actually going to be found in Amsterdam. Um, one of the things I... Most of the issues that you find anywhere are right around those tourist hearts of those places. Like most tourist cities are full of a lot of bottom barrel type people that's where you're gonna find your trouble at as you get out into the real world of most countries uh that's when it dies down a little bit from what i've seen the issues i do you Traveling do find around. are actually gonna be found in amsterdam um one of the things i would look out for especially in amsterdam is there's in my experience probably the most aggressive beggars and drunk beggars of anywhere i've seen in europe are here in amsterdam and loud children <laughs> um but no, but, but seriously, you will see a lot of beggars here in Amsterdam really bothering the tourists and they don't just go away, but say no and just walk away, try to avoid them the best you can. Um, probably, but the thing is probably the, the, the two things that are most dangerous for tourists when they come here, one is the bike path. Look, red is dead. That's the way I like to look at it. You see a, you see a street and there's like a red line on it or a red pathway. That's probably for the bikes, so you want to be careful because you will almost die a couple times here. Almost, not totally die. You other you wouldn't be watching this. Um, with the I don't want to almost or totally die for any reason. So tell me about the bike lanes that I'm not supposed to walk into so that I don't die. Times here, almost, not totally die. You other you wouldn't be watching this. Um, with the uh, with, with the bikes here because they do ride their bikes and a lot of bikes and you got to really pay attention because you got to look both ways all the time because you never know where they're going to be coming from i think that's probably the biggest danger for tourists coming here uh, the second biggest danger for tourists coming to the netherlands are the stairs look if you're going to stay in a tradition one of those cool thin you know tiny dutch houses that just look so cool and you want to take thousands of pictures of them the stairwells aren't like this they're like this they're like a ladder okay and it can be very dangerous i know we came here with kayla when he was younger and he fell down we were staying in an apartment and he fell down and he was cartwheeling down and i caught his face before he totally smashed on the bottom chipped tooth busted face all kinds of stuff it was a really really bad thing my mom has slipped down them as well but she wasn't injured that badly you really be, need to be careful be careful on the stairs what every house has a ladder stairs that's a steep stairs what about old people how do the old people deal with the stairs do we get lifts to take them up the stairs or they're just very good stair climbers thing my mom has slipped down them as well but she wasn't injured that badly you really need to be careful on those that's one of the things i would say is if you're going to be coming for like a weekend trip do pack lightly or any kind of trip because you've got to drag those bags up there and it can be extremely dangerous and the dutch it's not a big service economy or a service kind of thing so they're like look you're dutch you, you take care of yourself so you take care of your own bags so if you do have problems with your knees or going up really steep ladders make sure you check with your hotel how their situation is yeah do they have an elevator and things like that i mean the chain hotels the bigger hotels have it it's not a big deal but if you're going to rent an apartment or you're going to get like a smaller more private hotel that might be an issue you face and th that's another kind of safety thing out there another safety th i'm gonna need a first floor house thing is with the drugs look if you're coming to do drugs in the Netherlands, I know people do that. I don't, but I know people do. And I'm not gonna judge, I'm just saying, you need to be careful, okay? If you've never done drugs before, and this is your, I've always wanted to go to the Netherlands to have the drugs. Look, we- You see that? Please be safe. We do not recommend you do drugs while you travel. Please be safe. I like how they include that in there because honestly, I've traveled around a few countries and I've been to a few countries out there where the signs literally say, hey, import of any controlled substance equals death. Like, you know the countries that you're visiting, know what the rules are, at least. If you are going over there to do something recreational, like, 
I would say have a friend over there already that knows what is going on or something like that. Definitely not something we'll be into. We'll be too busy just visiting and having fun with subscribers. We'll probably still be knocking out some reactions while we're there. But that's still days and days and days away. So we're learning now. But let's learn. Four, and this is your, I've always wanted to go to Netherlands to have the drugs. Look, when you go to the coffee shop, Make sure, like I said before, make sure you tell them, hey, I've never done this stuff before. There Help you go. me out. See, because they be have honest it's a menu. About it. You get a menu and they'll say, here's the things out there. Here's maybe where you should try something lighter first and stuff like that. Maybe it's a space cake instead of a joint or something like that. You do want to be careful because I've seen a lot of really drunk, messed up tourists and high tourists that are having a really tough what time is that adjusting. Terrifying? So just Nobody. be careful with that. And Teddy also, bear. if you're, this is again, mostly, actually, mostly in Amsterdam or near the German border, there's a lot of German tourists that'll come over and smoke up and stuff. Watch out for the group of guys that have been drinking and doing drugs because you can have some issues there. But otherwise, otherwise it's pretty safe. You should be fine. It's just that sometimes you do get up, you do get a little worried, you know, out there. And sometimes the aggressive beggars can be a bit botched here in Amsterdam. But overall, overall you're okay. And the thing is, this place like Amsterdam, once you get out of the center, it's not really an issue for any of those things. Now, in terms of accommodation you're going to okay. have when you come to the Netherlands, there's tons of smaller that is hotels. A big yes. cat. Look at that cat down there, that's like a panther. Now in terms of accommodation you're gonna have when you come to the Netherlands, there's tons of smaller hotels. Yes, there are some of the chains that are here, but more likely you're gonna find smaller private hotels, independent hotels. So you will need to search those up. And I do recommend reading the reviews very carefully and also realize that in the Netherlands, you have a lot of thin, smaller buildings. So the rooms can be a lot tinier but also with those stairwells. So, so do tiny. check out on those things. Um, what we've done a lot Holy of Holy crap. That's like a stairs to the space shuttle. What's up? That is literally a ladder. When he said ladder, I didn't know he meant a ladder. That's a hell of a stair, right? Look at that, straight up. Gonna fall down. On oh, yeah, I'm gonna need a first floor house. I don't know if I could be climbing all them stairs. So we come here is just rent an apartment or if you're like going to the beach, you can rent a be beach house or a beach, I guess I would say condo, which was a fantastic option. Also was a lot cheaper than the hotel option out there. So that is something to look into, especially if you're going with dizzy just looking at them stairs. It was a lot cheaper than the hotel option out there. So that is something to look into, especially if you're going with your family because a double room will not hold for, you know, two adults and a, and, a, and a kid or stuff like that here. You're gonna have some issues there, so apartments are probably your best bet. Now, when you're in your accommodation, you're gonna to wanna to plug in your devices, your phones and cameras and stuff like this. Traditional European plugs, the two circle plugs that go in, that's what they have here. Um, Easy. Also, if you're looking in terms of your, your bathroom facilities in your hotel and other places, toilets work fine. You can drink the water here, it's no big deal. You can put the toilet paper down the toilet, no issues with that, so you're okay there. Um, Next thing we'll talk about is food. What are you gonna eat when you're here? Now, what's cool is you'll see when you're in Holland, oh, sorry, the Netherlands, see, it almost happens. Uh, Holland is like Amsterdam uh -huh. area, there's North and South Holland, okay, so, sorry. <laughs> you'll see when you're in the Netherlands that, it's hard not to do that. You'll see when you're in the Netherlands that there's a lot of international people here and there's a lot of great in international restaurants. Indonesia is probably the, the biggest one here you wanna try out. Wow. But if you wanna go for like the traditional, you know, Dutch specialties. Obviously, you're gonna have you know the pancakes here. You get the big ones. Why such an influx of Indonesians in the Netherlands? I, I wonder. He didn't really explain. He just said that there were a lot of them there. Like, was there? Someone can explain it to me down below. I don't honestly don't know the history of the Netherlands. We're here learning as we go. So, like, that's interesting to me that there's so many Indonesians way up there in the oh, middle. You know, Dutch specialties. Obviously, you're gonna have, you know, the pancakes here. You get the big ones, or you can get the little tiny ones that I like to have on the street. And that's the thing is, there's a lot of really good street food when you are here. Yes, go pick up a herring. Go to a food hall and go eat there and try a bunch of different stuff. Of course, you've got to have the French fries and the little tuta, the, the little bag thing, and with your, your the funnel with your mayonnaise on there. My mouth is my watering right now. You got to try it with mayonnaise. Not for the mayonnaise. I'm not a mayonnaise, but really no, it, like the movie no says, mayonnaise. Try it and that stuff. I mean, it's just a lot, but you'll eat it with your fork and stuff like that. Um, and but in a traditional kind of Dutch food, it's like it's a meat and potatoes kind of place. You know, similar to Germany, you're gonna have those things, but. Just know that you'll eat, you'll get filled up here, but you're gonna do a lot more 
international fare when you're eating here because the Dutch like to have international food so there's lots of international restaurants which is kind of cool but of course you still have to go and have your can your, your your pancake at your pancake house sorry it's requirement to have when you are here yeah and the give thing me a is Dutch if you're looking pancake. for quick things on the streets I mean yes I said the no. fries but they'll have like little croquettes and stuff it's like imagine like meat smushed together we to look are like, not like a hot dog just size thing. eating and a they bread it and fry it and they have that little pitcher ball and the little balls that they can have um, there's all kinds of little things you can snack on which is really nice because the thing is is the prices here in the Netherlands it's like Germany and France you know it's not that it's not on the cheaper side of Europe okay it's but it's not like Scandinavia expensive but it is a slightly pricey you know it's not super cheap I would say I find about the price like the US maybe a little bit more um, and so you can really save a lot of money on your food going to the food halls and eating from the kiosks and the little food stalls it can make a big difference now when you're looking at the things you're going to do when you actually do come here to the Netherlands, look, I'll be honest, my favorite thing to do is just walk around and take in the architecture. Dutch no architecture, kidding. these tiny... That's one of the things I want to do. I want to go over there and see some old stuff. Because America's history only goes back so far, and it's kind of sad to me like, that anything that's super old came to America from somewhere else. So therefore, I need to go to those somewhere else's to find all of that ancient history. Like, it's just... I'm a history person. I love old things. I love antiques. I love antiquing. And over there, there just seems like it's so, it's so full of history. It's super rich. America doesn't have, we got a rich history that only goes back so damn far, and then it stops. Like Favorite thing to do is just walk around and take in the architecture. Dutch architecture with these tiny buildings that they look like they're going to fall over cool. on you are just gorgeous. You can't stop taking pictures. And yes, there are canals all over the place. It's not just canal tours here in Amsterdam. You can do it other places as well. And you can actually take a canal tour and go through the locks and stuff like that. And it's great. And of course, you can take a bike tour going through and bike through the tulips. Um, what I will say, my wife was here in April and it's April and May. Mid-April to maybe mid-early May is the best time to come. But mid-late April is the best for the Kuchenhof and seeing those things. What's the Kuchenhof? The thing is getting around the country. What is a Kuchenhof? Tell me, what's the Kuchenhof? You can't just say Kuchenhof and not tell Mid, me what it is. Mid-late April is the best for the Kuchenhof and seeing those things. The thing is, getting around the country is so easy. You can see the historic buildings in Harlem. You can go check out Groningen. You can go to the port down in Rotterdam. There's all kinds of easy places to get to when you are here. So that's really cool. And also, it's something you can use to your advantage because most people just come to go to Amsterdam. But the thing is, is, since there's all these connections all around, if it's just you or a couple, I might stay in Harlem and stay there to get a cheaper place. It's a nicer place, a nice little town, and then just come into Amsterdam for the day. That's Especially smart. Especially if you're not big into the red light district kind of stuff. I'm not a big hotel, big villa kind of guy. I don't need a lot of space. I need a bed because most of the time I'm not even in the room unless I'm sleeping. And then just like. come into Amsterdam for the day, especially if you're not big into the red light district kind of stuff, because then you can go back and have a nice more Dutch, traditional Dutch experience without all the tourists. Anyway, these are just some things I thought tourists might want to know before they come to the Netherlands. It is a nice place to visit. I have had a good time when I'm here. I have had more than one or two or six little tutus of <laughs> fries with mayo. I put ketchup on there, so I did get some vegetables. That's good. And hey, I did have pancakes. See, like oh, me. And the little proliferal, I can, I can never say how you're supposed to say it. The little tiny pancakes, they'll give you lots of different flavors you can put on top of it. Traditionally, it's the butter and powdered sugar. The lady I had it, the first one I had, she's like, no, you will have this. She knew me from my video. She's like, no, you will have this version of it. I'm like, okay, okay. So it is pretty fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your time here in the Netherlands. If you want to see more, 10 things that'll shock you about coming to the Netherlands, things that'll, that you don't do when you come here to Amsterdam, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions, and we hope you have a great time here in the Netherlands. Bye from Amsterdam. Hey, definitely go show Walters World some love, because that was a super informative video. Definitely one, like a more serious-sided one, which I can definitely appreciate. It's good to have the funny side of things, but at the same time, I really do want to learn more about it there and about our subscribers up there. We have a very large Dutch subscriber base, huge. Like, so this is something that I'm really interested in. I want to learn more about over there, about all of over there, not just Holland, not just Amsterdam. Like, let me learn about the Netherlands as a whole. So if there's anything else from Walter's World or any other channels out there that you guys want us to check out, even if it's non-music related, I'm totally about it. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Check out one of my other videos over here. 
like I said, go show Walter's World some love. His channel is down in the description. Uh, subscribe right here if you want to see more content, possibly your content. Until the next one, I'm highly combustible. You guys be happy, happy, safe. I love you to the moon and back. Peace.